Adam Taxon here with a theater recommendation for the next couple of days through Sunday here in the Philadelphia area and for throughout various parts of the country after that. I am talking about the traveling version of the Broadway musical Jekyll and Hyde, a show I had never seen until last night's opening at the Forest Theater in Center City, Philadelphia. The show ran on Broadway from 1997 to 2001 and it's based on the 1886 novella The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by the Scottish writer Robert Louis Stevenson's. Stevenson. I'm not going to tell you too much here about the plot. I strongly believe in not ruining any surprises for someone who may listen here and not know a thing about the show but then ends up going. I really enjoyed the show. Some excellent songs and a very good all-around production. There is one big name and one really big name in the show, which is somewhat unusual for a traveling production. The really big name, and she was outstanding, is R&B superstar and Grammy nominee Deborah Cox. She plays Lucy, one of the two biggest female roles, maybe the biggest female role, I didn't count the lines. Uh, Cox has the audience for good, starting shortly with her first appearance in a number called Bring on the Men, which recalls lovely ladies from Les Mis. Uh, I think you know what I mean. Uh, more about Deborah Cox shortly. It's Constantine Maroulis, who got a Tony Award Best Actor nomination for his work in Rock of Ages, a show I thought was pretty bad, at least in its traveling version. Uh, he was also a finalist on the fourth season of American Idol, and he plays the lead dual personalities of Dr. Henry Jekyll and Edward Hyde. And I just have to put in a quick note here because I have a largely conservative audience. There is no connection whatsoever uh, between Dr. Henry Jekyll, Edward Hyde, and uh, former Illinois Republican Congressman Henry Hyde. Uh, but given that the show is based on Stevenson's story, uh, which was well known in 1924 when Congressman Hyde was born, uh, I have to wonder what were Henry Hyde's parents thinking in giving him that name? Anyhow, for a quick review of the show, uh, Isabel Kidder, a young lady who accompanied me to the show last night, wanted to pass on her own review, and because I agree with what she wrote, here it is. Uh, according to her, what an exhilarating performance. The show was an absolute treat, led by two famous names. The lovely Deborah Cox as Lucy performed with a kind of caliber that reminded me of Roxy from Chicago, with a voice that captured the entire audience. Constantine Maroulis' delivery convinced me that Jekyll and Hyde were two different men. The chemistry between these two actors was palpable as they cons consistently filled the show with high energy, heart racing musical numbers. Okay, so that's what Isabel Kidder had to say. Let me add, in terms of those musical numbers, the best of them are the ones that are likely most already known to casual fans of musical theater. I guess they're known for a reason. Uh, casual fans of musical theater who, say, put on the Comcast Broadway channel every now and then. Uh, those songs are Someone Like You, which Isabel Kidder and I agree sounded a bit like uh, Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Uh, there's also Facade and uh, This Is The Moment. Those are probably the big three songs from it. A personal note on This Is The Moment, my sister Amy, who is a talented singer, actually sang that with the band at her own wedding in 1997. I didn't realize the context of the song, however, uh, the context in the show until last night. And let's just say that given what it's the moment of in terms of Dr. Jekyll's uh, transformation, and also given the way that some women, not my sister of course, change a bit once they get that ring safely on their finger, this is the moment is definitely an interesting choice for music to play at a wedding. I'll just leave it that way. Maybe not as bad as you've lost that loving feeling, but... Oh, by the way, at the wedding of a friend from business school, his bride, a decent singer, actually sang My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. Think about that one. Oh yes, the gun issue, which I use in my headline to hook some of you in. Uh, as you know, very prominent right now uh, is the gun issue as Barack Obama, Eric Holder, and leftists shamelessly exploit the massacre in gun-restricting Connecticut by under-medicated, under-institutionalized vegan uh, Adam Lanza at a school where none of the teachers carried weapons like teachers do in Israel. Uh, as for the gun issue, I have to say that Jekyll and Hyde should please my fellow Second Amendment types. This won't give too much away plot-wise, but a gun is used at one point uh, in the show responsibly to stand down the would-be perpetrator of a murderous rampage. And the violence in the show is from weapons and methods which are not gun, not guns.
Just uh, thought I'd point that out. One other somewhat personal note, Judaism talks a lot about something called the Yetzer Hara, which is roughly translated as the evil inclination, but it's an inclination which is an important part of being human, and it has to be there, otherwise, for example, the human species just uh, wouldn't reproduce. Well, the Yetzer Hara and its role are a big part of Jekyll and Hyde, and if you're familiar with uh, the Stevenson novella, you probably already knew that. All right, I've given you enough there. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde runs through Sunday night in Philadelphia. Final show is Sunday the 30th at 6.30 p.m. KimmelCenter.org for more info about its Philadelphia run. The show goes after this to Providence, Durham, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Denver, and plenty more cities. You can get more information about the uh, national tour at JekyllandHydeMusical.com.